get ready for the morning rush. A quick wrap of your news and weather. We'll start with Kristen Curry. Kristen. Good morning. We'll begin with our next big weather maker in the form of a cold front today, but little if any moisture packed in with that front. We're going to see a mix of sun and clouds, but we'll keep an eye on the higher elevations for a spot rain shower. Other than that, it's just going to be a little cooler out over the eastern plains. Albuquerque, get ready for some of those gusty winds late overnight. Crystal? And as you get ready to head out the door from the day's top local stories, we start with Sarah Yingling. Just 24 hours before Election Day polls open and Hillary Clinton is still in the lead. Despite those five campaign stops, Donald Trump and his running mate Mike Pence made in here in New Mexico. Neither Clinton nor her running mate Tim Kaine have stopped here in the state for a campaign event so far this year. The most recent Albuquerque Journal poll shows Clinton with 45 percent support. That's just five points ahead of Trump. Gary Johnson has 11 percent support, down 24 percent in September. But our political experts say Trump may still have a chance. Adam. Thanks, Sarah. New this morning, former New Mexico governor and libertarian presidential candidate Gary Johnson is preparing to hold his election night party here in Albuquerque. According to his campaign website, he and Bill Weld will be at Hotel Albuquerque in Old Town at 6 in the evening. Tickets are free to that event. Meanwhile, we're also keeping a very close eye on the Secretary of State race in the latest journal poll. Democrat Maggie Tolus Oliver is leading. The Bernalillo County Clerk leads Roswell State Rep and Republican Nora Espinoza by a big margin, 53% to 40 in that survey. The winner will finish off the last two years of criminally convicted Secretary of State Diana Duran's term. If you have not cast your ballot, you're going to have to wait now until tomorrow. Early voting ended on Saturday. In Bernalillo County, nearly 70 polling places will be open Election Day Tuesday. New numbers on how many people voted early statewide coming up in the five facts. This morning, authorities in three states are on high alert of a possible Al Qaeda terror attack on U.S. soil. As U.S. US law enforcement officials tell CBS News, investigators are looking for individuals who could have information about a pre-election threat. Intelligence points to possible attacks aimed at New York, Virginia and Texas. Former U.S. Attorney General Janet Reno has died. The goddaughter of the 78 year old who became the first woman to serve in the position says she died of complications from Parkinson's disease. Reno is most known for ordering agents to storm a compound in Waco, Texas, where a religious sect led by David Koresh was in a standoff with the FBI. About 80 people died in that raid. She also drew fire for her handling of the case of Elian Gonzalez. Developing news now, the man who police say is connected to a weekend knife attack that left two children and a woman dead is now in custody. Investigators say 26-year-old Jeremy Arrington was taken into custody last night after barricading himself inside a Newark, New Jersey home. Prosecutors say Arrington has not been charged in the stabbings, but was wanted on charges of sexual assault and aggravated assault for an unrelated incident last month. The search continues in South Carolina today for what could be more victims of an alleged serial killer, Todd Colip. Yesterday, authorities found another body buried on Colip's 95 acre property where a woman was found chained in a metal container last week. The 45 year old faces four counts of murder in the deaths of four people in 2003. Kristen. Today's Metro threat index at a zero. We're just going to be looking at partly sunny conditions and cool temperatures this afternoon in the 60s. Do plan on feeling some of those gustier winds overnight, but that will more so be an issue for tomorrow morning. We'll keep you updated as those winds and that cold front moves through. Catherine? Happening later today, we'll take it from here. The city council will hear from the Civilian Police Oversight Agency. The agency was formed after the Department of Justice report. It's tasked with improving communication between APD and the public. It also reviews police shootings and complaints against officers. The semi-annual report set to be released today is more than 50 pages long. It looks at one officer involved shooting and a few excessive use of force complaints. Also on the agenda today, the offices of the Inspector General and Internal Audits are set to submit their reports. That meeting is scheduled for 530 at the City County Building. On to a recall alert this morning, Samsung is recalling nearly 3 million top load washing machines in the U.S. The move follows reports of injuries caused by the tops of the machines detaching during use. Owners should check with Samsung to see if their washer is on the list. The South Korean company is offering repairs, rebates and refunds. New pediatric research says middle school and high school students who use flavored e-cigarettes are more likely to become smokers. Doctors found 58% of young people using sweet flavored e-cigarettes expressed intentions of picking up a cigarette habit as well. Got an upper check on that morning drive. Let's take a look at our traffic map here. We are mostly green here in the metro. As you can see, traffic building in volume on Paseo right as you get uh, close to I-25.
Construction on the controversial ART project continues today. A few more areas are going to be affected around downtown Albuquerque, including various lane closures. We've posted a link on our website, krqe.com, for details. On to news happening next weekend. Lots of eyes will be in the skies for the Spaceport's annual drone summit. It's a chance for drone pilots to show off their skills with races and demonstrations, and where spectators can learn more about drone uses and technology. That event takes place Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Spaceport America. That's near to your sea. All right, time now for the five facts. And we start with number five. Just over two weeks from Thanksgiving, Santa's workshop is already open at the Cottonwood Mall. Some are asking if it's just too early, but families say they're grateful to get a head start on their holiday to-do list, and that includes taking a picture <laughs> with good old St. Mm -hmm. Nick. <laughs> Maybe Fido there, too. Number four, in just one week, the state begins issuing new federally compliant driver's licenses and so-called driver's authorization cards. Real ID compliant licenses will be given to those here legally, driver's authorization cards to those here illegally. There's no need to rush to get that new license until your current one expires or unless it expires after the year 2020. At number three, the mix of sun and clouds overhead today. Temperatures getting back into the mid to upper 60s. We'll be watching for cooler temperatures and a little bit of wind out east. Albuquerque expect those east canyon winds to pick up overnight. On to number two now. As you wake up today, police still have not reported any arrests in the shooting death of a man over a game of beer pong. Police say the fight broke out after a party at a home near Girard in Central early Sunday morning that moved to a neighbor's property. Multiple shots were fired. 22-year-old Angel Martinez was taken to the hospital. That's where he died. Police are asking anyone with information to call police at 242 COPS. And number one, poll workers in New Mexico will be taking the day to prepare for Election Day tomorrow. More than 520,000 people voted early or absentee. That's up nearly 13% compared to 2012. 49 percent are registered Democrats, 36 percent registered Republicans. Both presidential candidates are in a last minute tour of multiple battleground states today. Trump criticizing FBI Director James Comey, who wrote a letter to Congress over the weekend, revealing investigators looking into Clinton's emails find no evidence to warrant criminal charges. Clinton did not mention that development on the campaign trail. So coming up in just a bit, we're talking about a good way to get into the holiday spirit, all for a great cause. It's called gingerbread enchantment. You don't want to miss that. We'll see you at Fox New Mexico right after this break.